This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, can I add a snapshot 3D mesh to the selected subtool rather than creating a new subtool? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And this model here was created entirely using the Spotlight Snapshot 3D functionality. So I loaded in some alphas and then using Snapshot 3D along with the live Boolean system, I was able to quickly generate shapes and then use those as subtractive forms to come through and start carving away and generating a mesh. So the question is asking about when using this process, if there's a way to get the generated Snapshot 3D mesh to be appended to the current subtool. So I'm just going to first go into Lightbox here and load in a Spotlight file. So I'm going to hit comma on my keyboard or come up here and click the Lightbox button here. And then at the top, I want to navigate to the Spotlight area. And then I just want to locate the 512 Hard Surface Spotlight file here and double click to load that Spotlight file in. After it's loaded in, you'll see a series of alphas over here. I can press Z on my keyboard to get the Spotlight wheel to appear. And now I can drag that down so I can see all these. And with my mesh here, I want to position it so that it's facing, and I want to add some holes to the area here. So I'm going to hide Spotlight really quick by hitting Shift-Z. I'm going to reposition my mesh this direction, get out of perspective, and zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to add some circular cuts. So I want to add one about here, one here, and then maybe one here and one here. So I'm going to go back into Spotlight by hitting Z on my keyboard. I'm now going to select the circle alpha right here. Just make sure it's the highlighted one. I'm going to click and drag to move that over to my model here and scale it up just a little bit. So I want to create a new subtool from the alpha here, and I want that subtool to automatically be set to subtractive mode. So I have the live Boolean option active up here. So that way, as soon as I generate the subtool, it's going to look like it's cut out of the model. So I'm going to navigate down here to the snapshot 3D button here. You'll see at the top here to create a new subtractive subtool. I just need to hold down the alt key and then click. And that will now create a new subtool from that alpha since it's generated over here. I can now hit Shift Z to close Spotlight there. And now I should have that tool created. If I solo, you can see it's in space over here. So I need to reposition that. So I'm going to switch to the Move Gizmo 3D option here. I'm going to click the Go to Unmasked Mesh Center to get back to the center of that. And I'm going to pull it forward. And now you can see it's being cut through the model there. So now that I have this subtool set to subtractive, now I want to go through and I want to use the snapshot 3D option again to add some more holes with those alphas. But I don't want to make new subtools. I just want to append any new snapshot 3D geometry to this subtool right here. So to do this, I'm going to go back into Spotlight by pressing Z on my keyboard. I'm going to now reposition the circle. So I'm going to say put it right here. Now I'm going to hover across the Snapshot 3D icon here, and you'll see at the top there is an option. If I hold down Shift and click, it's going to append it to the current subtool. So instead of creating a new subtractive subtool by holding Alt, if I hold down Shift and now click, it's going to take this alpha, it's going to convert it to geometry, and then it's going to append it to the selected subtool. Since this subtool here was already set to subtractive, anything now that I append to this subtool is also going to be set to subtractive. So if I want to punch another hole out right here, I can just hold down the Shift key and then click on this icon here. And this is going to append this geometry to the selected subtool, which is already set to subtractive, and it's now going to cut into the mesh. Now I can reposition this and put it over here, do that same process again, hold down Shift and click, then come down here, hold down Shift and click. And you'll see now I've created all these holes and they've all been appended to a single subtool. So now if I press Shift plus Z to hide Spotlight here, and then I go into Solo, you can see I have all of those meshes all as one subtool, and they're all set as that subtractive geometry, so now they're generating that cut into my model. So let's go through that process one more time, but instead of starting with a subtool that's in subtractive, let's try one that's in an additive form. So I press Z on my keyboard to get back to Spotlight here. I'm going to grab this guy right here, Move in in position like so, maybe place them right here. And then I'm going to recenter the spotlight wheel. Now I want to set this to positive, so I'm just going to click. I'm not going to hold Alt to click. And this is now going to create a new subtool from that. If I hit Shift Z and close spotlight, see this is what I now have generated. I can go to the center of that, scale it in a little bit. So now I have this effect. And now if I want to add another one of these to the other side, 
but I want to append it to the same subtool and press Z on my keyboard to get back into Spotlight here. I can put another one over here. And now instead of just clicking, which create just a new subtool, I'm going to hold down Shift again and then click, and that's going to append this to the current subtool I've selected, which is this one over here. And this subtool is set to additive instead of subtractive. So it's going to append this part now into this subtool, and it's going to be displayed as a positive. So holding down Shift and clicking, and that has now been added. And now if I hit Shift Z to get out of Spotlight here, you can see I now have two of these guys, and they're in my mesh, and they're also set to the additive functionality. So that is how you can go through and add Spotlight 3D Geometry to an existing sump tool. You just need to go into Spotlight, and when you click on the Snapshot 3D icon, make sure you hold down Shift, and that will perform an append functionality, and it will append it to the current subtool you have selected. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!